Hey there, this is one up Indie here with the first of remaking Undertale in Game Maker, so number one. And today we're gonna do just the movement of the heart and we want actually to have the heart to be moving inside this box here. But for now, we just uh, des design how that goes and then we just have to try it out. And then in the next video, we will have a circumvention how that actually works out. So if you just wanna join me on this, hopefully not too long video, then stick around. This is one up Indie. I am a developer. So if you like what you're seeing and hearing, then why not consider sharing, liking and subscribing to the channel of course alrighty so let's just go quickly into our project and we want to inside our fight room place well first of all the heart which is the player so in this mini bullet hell thing and then of course the box which is kind of restricting our movement so for that we just so for that first of all we create two objects so here create object here we go the player heart and then the box quick explanation to uh, both of them so first of all we need to um, assign them their respective images but you can use yours or just the ones which are uh, from this project file link in the description below where you can get it if you haven't seen the video before so for the action box it's actually this one here fight box we apply that and then for the player heart it's just the heart a little caveat towards the action box it is a nine slice so if you don't know that um, link in the description below how you can do this i had a video on this but really quickly because sometimes the area where we're fighting is like this or like this or like this so it does make sense to make a nine slice just to know and see visually what kind of box we are having and therefore you need to you know activate that and use a sprite like this so let's place both inside the room our fight room and as you can see we can instantly do something like this this is definitely what we want and our player heart let's make this a little bit bigger at the start so we can have this nicer and then um, first of all we want to define our movement of the heart so we just double click on that dude go on step and then in all my tutorials where you have like movement and then others first of all you need to grab what well input so basically your keyboard input or your gamepad for now we just use and i guess just for the series we just use the keyboard so we just store in right left and up depending what kind of input we're having our keyboard so this is for a constant check in our step event of our heart so this could be VK right or for example D, so A, W, uh, uh, A, S or the V keys, so the virtual keys. And then we got our input done. And then for example, we need to kind of move horizontally. For that, we just have, uh, I just call it move X and say like, hey, right minus left. Here we go. Or for example, if we are moving vertically, so up and down, move Y, which is then down minus up. And then for now, nothing would be happening, but let's do some magic. And the magic is called move and collide. And for that, we just input our horizontal movement and our vertical, and then it will automatically move for us, which is the great thing. And here I'm foreshadowing something, but Let's do it, for example, with our action box and actually start it. And I did something wrong. So first of all, my bad, we need to, you know, start off with our fight room. And let's see how that actually is looking like. And boom, we get everything which we want. Can we move? Yes. And then can we enter it? No. But of course, this is not what we want because the heart needs to be inside. But let's say if we would put it inside, then there would be no movement because um, collisions are like this you have like a shape for example here this is a rectangle a box and then everything try which tries to enter cannot enter and this is the idea but here we need to do it a different way so in the next video i'm going to discuss how we do this but just do a little speed up because let's say mm, the movement is not fast enough so we just say like hey speed 
Ah, just do it, I don't know, something like this. Let's say two. And then we are moving much, much faster because now we have a multiplier. So something like this. And let's say we start it again and boom, it will still work. But now just the movement is much faster, which we wanted to have. So hopefully that wasn't too long and see you in the next one where you, we solve the riddle of how we can actually be inside the box without doing too much code. So that was it from my side and see you hopefully tomorrow, if not uh, in two days. Uh, see you. Bye bye.